Okay guys, welcome to my how to hold video. In this video we're going to be looking at cobblestone and we're going to be looking at the B platform area of cobblestone or the B site or the B halls, whichever one you want to call it. This is one of the hardest places to hold as CTs and one of the first places for the terrorists to rush. So we'll be covering timings, angles, positions, grenade usages, pushing, and terraced after plant positions as well. So let's first define what the B site or the B platform area is. So we'll be covering the whole of the B site from the door to the platform itself and including the bit of the hallway as well. And this is going to be from the apartments area. But mainly we'll be covering the platform and the hallway itself from the apartments area. We will not be covering any of these from the drop down area or from A site as these are done in other videos. Let's have a look at timings. We're going to look at CT timings, T timings, and the meeting angle. So for a counter to get to the fountain, which is the quickest spot for them to get to, it takes them about 13 seconds for a good spawn. And for the terrorists to get out on the B platform, just before the boxes, it takes them 14 seconds. So you can get to the fountain before they get to the B platform, but you can't get on the B platform before they get there. Now let's have a look at angles. We're going to look at aggressive and defensive angles. So, you can hold the angles in the hallways, out on the B platform at the boxes or behind the boxes, the B platform itself, the B platform with the little out indented area, and then angles onto the platform and the angle just off the platform. Let's have a look at positions. We're going to look at aggressive positions, defensive positions, one kill and orping positions. So you can hold on the platform, either behind the boxes or behind the corner, underneath the platform, either close or back, in the chicken coop, at the fountain, behind the tree, in the tree, at the rock, or at the door. Let's have a look at these in game. So here it's behind the wall on the platform. It's a one kill position and they can molot off you easily. Behind the box here is a decent position. You can get molot offs, just be careful. Here's a pretty good position. It's close underneath the platform. Bit of a one kill position here. Usually you don't want to be peeking platform. Chicken coop is pretty good, but you can be spammed through it, so just be careful. Fountain is quite a good position, one of the more common positions. Behind the tree is a pretty decent position. However, they can get access to the box pretty easily. Up here is a good position, but you can get shot and drop down easily, so just be careful. And the rock is a decent position, but they do get control of the platform when you're here. Same with the door, they get control of the platform when you're here as well. Orping positions, you can orp from behind the box, but again you can be molotoffed out. Orp from the chicken coop, but again you can be spammed through. Orp from the fountain is a pretty good orping position. You can actually get them quite easily. And from door, usually you would do this if you're rotating into B though. Let's have a look at grenades. We're going to look at smoke grenades, flash grenades, and incendiary grenades. So, first smoke grenade from the wall. You can just smoke off the platform. You want to smoke it as deep as you can, so they can't use it to get to the box. So if you're actually here, you can actually smoke it a bit closer if you wish. If you're playing on the platform, you can smoke it a bit closer. So behind the box, you can smoke off. So you mainly want to smoke off the arch here. Just make sure your smoke covers the total arch. Don't throw it too deep. If you're here, you want to make sure you smoke off the arch. Don't smoke it off too far, close to the box. Otherwise, they can get to the box and get you from behind. Same applies to here. So you want to smoke it off as close to the arch as you can. Try to leave no gaps. So this is, this is a good smoke. If it's any closer, it'll be a bad smoke. From the chicken coop, you got to make sure you, again, smoke it off as close to the arch as you can. This is actually probably not a quite good smoke. But it just leaves a little bit of a gap between the arch and the boxes, so it's decent enough. From the fountain, you can do the same. You're just aiming at the arch and bouncing it off. Pretty simple smoke. You are exposed when you throw these smokes, so just be careful. You can actually throw a smoke from behind the fountain. Just make sure you practice this one because it is a bit temperamental. And it's a bit hard to throw. And it doesn't actually quite land where you want it because it does let them get behind the box, but it will delay them running out. So from behind the tree, you can throw a running smoke bouncing off the boxes. This is quite a good smoke. And usually one of the first smokes you'll throw if you're going to smoke off B platform early if you think they're going to rush it. Just throw that smoke. You can throw smokes over the box there. 
Uh, again, this one allows them to get to the box, but it's not bad if you're going to want to play on the platform itself. But I wouldn't recommend it if you're not going to play. From behind the tree, or the tree itself, you can throw a smoke. Again, you want to get these smokes as close to the arch as possible. This is actually not quite a good smoke, but it's not too bad if you're going to stay on the tree. If you want to get it, if you can do it quickly enough, you can throw a smoke here, which is a much better smoke, but it does take a bit longer to set up, and a bit more precision and practice to throw. From behind the rock, you really smoke off that left hand side. This is usually if they're on the site, you smoke off that side, so they have to come around the other side, and you just wait for the bomb plant. Not particularly useful. Flashbangs, you can flash underhand from the wall here. This is quite a good flash. They may see where this is coming from, but it's a good pop flash. You can do a dual handed flash bouncing off the wall. This one probably slightly better. Or you can throw a straight flash from the back wall. This one's not as good, they see it coming. But maybe you can get them while their backs are turned. From behind the box, you can do an underhand flash to one side. They may see where this is coming from, but it can allow you to get out of the box or allow you to peek and get a kill. If you're just using it to delay, you can throw a dual handed flash over the box. They'll easily see this one coming, but if there's a smoke there, it will delay them. But apart from that, it's not quite a good flash. You can use the back column to throw a flash. This isn't a bad flash. So if you're underneath the platform, you can throw a flash on top of it. So this is the, you're not exposed when you're throwing this flash, it's good to delay if you, they're throwing nades and stuff. You can do an underhand flash as well. They do actually see you, but they shouldn't be able to shoot you because you bounce pretty much back up because you hit the platform ledge. So then another straight flash, just use which flash works best for you. From far back underneath the platform, just throw a straight flash bouncing off the top there. Pop flashes them quite nicely, but you can't really peek and get a kill with these flashes. This flash you kind of can, if they're close enough, but it mainly it's going to be delaying. If they're really close, you can throw a flash like this, they will see it coming, but they're close enough so you should be able to peek out and get a kill, or relocate if you need to. From chicken coop, delay flash, you can just throw it in there. Just make sure you aim it right, don't aim it too far. If they know you're behind the chicken coop, or you want to try to flash and get a kill, you can use a flash like this. They do see it coming. Or you can flash the right side of the platform and try to peek the left side. Again, they'll probably see it coming if they're close enough. From the fountain, you can throw a flash the same as you did for chicken coop, just straight on the platform for delaying purposes. Or if you're behind the platform, you can throw a dual handed flash over it. This isn't a bad flash if you're going to peek out and try to get them. So it does flash the area where you can peek. From behind the tree, you can throw a flash as well. This is a delaying flash, I think, because you can't really peek with it. This is the flash you want to use if you want to peek with it. You just bounce off the ledge. This will flash people here. Or you can bounce off the tower. Again, this is a delaying flash. This one actually flashes them quite far back. And we'll flash them if they're setting up the smokes. If you're at the tree, you can throw a flash there. This one actually bounces in front of the tree and it will flash people on the platform. If you just want to do a delaying flash, two-handed flash over the thing, same as the smoke. It delays them when they're setting up the nades, which is quite nice. From the rock, you can flash the platform as well, just a straight flash over the tree. You're not really going to be able to pick out and get a flash, it's a delay flash. If you want to pick out and get a flash, you just bounce it off the rock, this one lands to the left there. If you do a running flash from back here, this will flash people all on the B side as well. Or if you're at the door, you can just flash back here. This is more for a retake. It's not particularly useful, but it can come in handy sometimes. Incendiaries, just going to be aiming kind of where the smokes are. Mainly for delaying, this one will get you killed. But if, if you're, you're, they know you're there, it's not too bad. Because it's just going to delay them. This one's not too bad. This one's pretty good. If they're not out on the platform itself, it really delays them getting out. This one hopefully stops them getting into the box. So there's two places to incendiary. Either you can incendiary the arch or the box. If they're at the box, you want to incendiary that. If they're not at the box, the arch is pretty decent just to delay. So just throwing it into the arch. So this one here actually stops them setting up for some nades. Which is quite nice. Or you can pop it a bit closer if you wish. 
So from chicken coop, just throw one into the arch. This again delays them. Doesn't really do much apart from delays them. But if they've smoked off close to the box, you can throw one at the box itself. So this boss isn't out of the box, either back into it or to the right. Usually you want to use this when the smoke's cleared around the box, so you can get them either side they go. Again, you can do these both from the fountain. The Molotovs are more effective around the box if you think this guy pushed. But if, that, if you know there hasn't been, then you can just use them to lay in the arch. So you can throw it out the box from behind the tree as well. The further you get them in, if you want to go for, for the arch, the better, because it stops them setting up with some nades. If you can get it into the little garden corner there. If you're at the tree, you can just throw one actually over the top. So this one here is quite good. It actually is before the arch, stops them setting up with some nades, some flashbangs, and it will really slow them down, unless they're already out, and then behind the box as well. Again, all the Molotovs you throw behind the box, you can also throw an incendiary behind the box to kill people behind the box as well. And that's quite effective to stop people doing that kind of push. You can actually throw them all from the rock as well. So this is more when you're helping out your teammate on the site, or you've just teammates just died on the site from that guy. This Molotov is for stopping a bomb plant if they haven't thrown a smoke. They force them onto the other side of the fountain. Let's have a look at pushing, benefits and detriments. Alright, so there are two ways to push. Either you can push T-spawn into the apartments, and that's going to force them to go to T-spawn or down the alleyway to A. Or you can push down to drop. Pushing to T-spawn or pushing back to A is probably a better way than pushing to drop. Unless you know they're in drop, and then it's an interesting push. Now let's look at terrorist after one position. We can look at aggressive ones and defensive ones. So this is a kind of an aggressive one, you just wait for them to come through door. You're exposed to drop though. This is a one kill after plant, but it's not too bad. Here's a pretty good after plant, just make sure you're not picking any AWP coming through door. And you can hear for watching the drop zone. You can split them up quite nicely. Back of chicken coop is good. So you can be spammed through it, just be careful. Here's good if you're just going to play a plant, bit of a defensive position. And if the plant's for you can play even far back here, which is quite nice. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.